Oakland has been going crazy and with the crime to the point where they breaking into burger shops. Let's 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 tune in. People who live and work in East Oakland are disappointed to hear the only in and out in the city is closing later this year. That's right. The popular burger restaurant saying car break-ins and violent theft is to blame. KTVU's Crystal Bailey today took a look at what's being done to curb violent crime right near the airport. She's here in studio with the story. Crystal. Well, Oakland police say they have a crime reduction plan in this area and they've seen progress. Meanwhile, customers tell me they aren't shocked to hear the restaurant is closing its doors. A security guard at the in and out today told me she's seen up to 10 break-ins in a single day. But residents say it's too little, too late. The in and out in Oakland is located in one of the hotspot areas for crime, near 98th Avenue in Hagenberger. It's an area criminals know they can find unsuspecting tourists coming from the airport. Although in and out says it's been a profitable location for 18 years, they just can't ask their employees or customers to work and visit an unsafe environment. They have my man on camera taken out of somebody's car. This is wild. I thought they was going in there trying to steal money from the employees and, and trying to steal burgers and french fries. That's what I thought they was doing. But they actually robbing the cars. That's different. You can't even leave your car right here to go in there within one minute. Your, your stuff is getting smashed. I love this place. I hate to see it go. On Sunday morning, as in and out announced its closure, Oakland police say they arrested someone for removing an ATM from the wall at the Bank of America, less than half a mile away. And just a couple hundred feet away at the Raising Canes on Hagenberger, a manager says they were forced to close their indoor dining area and provide employees with a secure fence for parking all due to break-ins. It, it seems like everything, another thing is closing in Oakland, another thing is leaving Oakland, all this stuff. And I get it now. You know what I mean? People ain't trying to deal with this, but you know, we're, we're the ones, especially us East Oaklanders, like we really suffer. Oakland residents. Yo, is it that bad that you need to be out there doing that? Like for real, is it that bad for you? You guys, this has got to stop. This got to stop in California. Y'all are known for this. Y'all are known for this in some places. This is ridiculous, man. Y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better, man. It's in and out burger. It's blame city leadership. The crime getting worse, so uh, the city really need to help us out. Like I said, you, you're finally now starting to see a little bit of police around here, but it's just a little bit too late, too little, too late. Oakland police know the area is a problem, so they increased the number of patrols and started working with a private security team for 24-7 monitoring last year. OPD says in 2023, they saw a 23% reduction in auto burglaries around Hagenberger and 98th Avenue compared to 2022. And despite all the effort, after the in and out on Oak Porch Street closes in late March, Customers will have to travel to Alameda or San Leandro to get their double doubles. I hate to go way out of the way when I can go right here. And even though they're closing in. Yo, this is crazy. I can't lie, man. I never heard a crime so bad that you had to close your burger shop, your, your McDonald's, your in and out. I never heard that. I never heard that. Man, I pray for California, man, because this is crazy. This is crazy.